You know that feeling when you meet someone and your heart skips a beat? Yeah, that's arrhythmia. You can die from that. For understanding the pulse in detail, we need to understand its core. A pulse in medicine is the tactile arterial palpation of the cardiac cycle by trained fingertips. Do you know, in the 1950s, Dr. Arthur F. Koka invented an elaborate method to diagnose a new kind of allergy by testing the pulse rate. He thought allergies were the underlying cause of most diseases. His method has never been tested, but there is every reason to think it is bogus. For 1,000 years, until the mid-20th century, palpation of the pulse was the only window into the heart. Throughout medical history, the pulse has been the most important parameter in assessing cardiac dysfunction. Over the years, the bedside skills of physicians have been diminished due to advancements in medical technology, but it doesn't mean the ancient techniques used in medicine weren't worth it. In some cases, they were far better than you think. But what is pulse, and how does it directly relate to the functioning of the heart? Let's dive deep into it. The pulse. Taking one's pulse is an ancient medical technique and is the most widely used practice. There are numerous historical examples of physicians taking a patient's pulse. The value of examining the pulse has been recognized by ancient Egyptian, Chinese, Indian, Greek, medieval, Arab Islamic, and modern physicians. It is a component of what we refer to as our vital signs. In 1534 BC, the papyrus wrote, to know the movements of the heart and to know the heart. From the heart arise the vessels which go to the whole body. If the physician lay the hands or his fingers to the head, to the back of the head, to the hands, to the place of the stomach, to the arms or to the feet, then he examines the heart because all of his limbs possess its vessels, that is, the heart speaks out of the vessels of every limb. If the heart trembles, has little power and sinks, the disease is advancing. The pulse can be palpated in any location, where an artery can be compressed near the body's surface, such as the neck, wrist, groin, behind the knee, near the ankle joint, and on the foot. By definition, it is the regular expansion of an artery caused by the ejection of blood into the arterial system by the contractions of the heart. While talking about the pulse, we must learn some of the attributes of pulse in clinical practice, which help us understand the cardiac activity and its functionality. The pulse rate or heart rate can be defined as a measurement of the heart rate or the number of times the heart beats per minute. As the heart pushes blood through the arteries, the arteries expand and contract with the flow of the blood. It can be normal between the range of 60 to 100. It could be accelerated above 100 or could be slower than expected heart rate, generally beating fewer than 60 beats per minute. It could be more than 200 or 300 even, higher or lower, the severity of the disease is directly proportional to the variability of heart rate. Rhythm is sound in motion. It is related to the pulse, the heartbeat, the way we breathe. It rises and falls. It takes us into ourselves. It takes us out of ourselves. Rhythm is something associated with the conducting system of the heart. The normal pulse rhythm is regular, meaning that the frequency of the pulsation felt by your fingers follows an even tempo with equal intervals between pulsations. If you compare this to music, it involves a constant beat that does not speed up or slow down but stays at the same tempo. Whereas an irregular rhythm indicates cardiac arrhythmias, which are life-threatening. Primarily rhythm can be either normal or abnormal. Rhythm could be classified based on its occurrence. It could be regular or irregular. If irregular, it could be irregularly regular or irregularly irregular. Or it can be classified by its origin that is sinus or non-sinus rhythm. Now, sinus rhythm can be normal sinus rhythm, sinus tachycardia, sinus bradycardia, or sinus arrhythmias. And non-sinus rhythms are atrioventricular rhythm, idioventricular rhythm, and ventricular rhythm. We will learn more about it later. Pulse pressure. The difference between your blood pressure's upper and lower levels is called pulse pressure. As you become older, your pulse pressure tends to rise. And this figure might also be a precursor to health concerns before you notice any symptoms. The systolic and diastolic pressures are the two numbers used to calculate your blood pressure. The top number is the systolic pressure, which is a measurement of how much pressure your arteries are under while your heart beats. The bottom figure, diastolic pressure, 
indicates how much pressure your arteries are under between heartbeats. To calculate your pulse pressure, all you have to do is subtract the bottom number from the top number. Example, if your blood pressure was 120 slash 80 mmHg, that would be 120 80 equals 40. It could be a wide or narrow pulse pressure. Pulse volume. One of the other attributes of pulse includes its volume or amplitude. A pulse volume is the degree of expansion displayed by the artery during the diastolic and systolic state. The volume of the pulse can be measured as either hypokinetic pulse or hyperkinetic pulse, depending on its characteristics. Hypokinetic pulse. Narrow pulse pressure is indicated by a feeble pulse. Low cardiac output, as seen in shock and congestive cardiac failure. Hypovolemia. Valvular heart disease, such as aortic outflow tract obstruction, mitral stenosis, and aortic arch syndrome, and other factors may be to blame. Hyperkinetic pulse. High pulse pressure is indicated by a bounding pulse. Low peripheral resistance, as seen in fever, anemia, thyrotoxicosis, hyperkinetic heart syndrome, AV fistula, Haggett's disease, beriberi, liver cirrhosis, increased cardiac output, increased stroke volume, Either hypokinetic or hyperkinetic could be reported by scale. Zero is absent. One plus is barely palpable. Two plus is easily palpable. Three plus is full and more than four is equal to aneurysmal or bounding pulse. When palpating the pulse, the pulse force is the strength of the pulsation. Is it soft, for example, when you feel a patient's pulse against your fingers? Is it so light that you can scarcely feel it? Is the pulsation, on the other hand, quite strong and rushing into your fingertips? The force is vital to measure because it represents blood volume, heart function and cardiac output, and the elasticity of the arteries. Remember that stroke volume refers to the amount of blood pumped by the heart with each contraction that is with each heartbeat. As a result, pulse force indicates how hard the heart must work to push blood out of the heart and into the circulatory system. A four-point scale is used to measure pulse force. Three plus full and bounding, two plus normal or strong. One plus weak, diminished, thready, and zero absent or non-palpable. Also known as compressibility of the pulse. It is a rough measure of systolic blood pressure. Like the force, tension is another attribute of the pulse we need to get familiar with. Tension. It is the same as diastolic blood pressure. The vessel is soft or impalpable between beats, indicating a low-tension pulse that is pulsus mollis. Even between pulse beats, vessels in a high-tension pulse or pulsus durus feel rigid. Let's have a look at pulsus form. Palpatory arteriogram estimate is based on the shape or contour of a pulse. Aortic regurgitation is characterized by a rapidly rising and falling pulse that is pulsus cellar. Aortic stenosis is characterized by a sluggish rising and falling pulse that is pulses tardis. Equality of pulse. Comparing pulses from various locations provides useful clinical information. An abnormal or aberrant artery course, portation of the aorta, aortitis, dissecting aneurysm, peripheral embolism, and other conditions can cause a discrepant or uneven pulse between the left and right radial arteries. Portation to the aorta, aortitis, block at the bifurcation of the aorta, dissection of the aorta, iatrogenic trauma, and arteriosclerotic blockage all cause an uneven pulse between the upper and lower extremities. Century later, several pulse patterns can be of clinical significance. These include decrotic pulse, pulsus alternans, pulsus paradoxus, pulsus bisphereans, pulsus bigeminis, etc. Let's have a look at some amazing facts about pulse diagnosis. In the tradition of James Randi, a Chinese doctor who is an outspoken critic of traditional Chinese medicine has issued a challenge to its proponents. He has put up 50,000 yuan, that is about $8,000, which has been matched by donors for a total of over 100,000 yuan, to any TCM practitioner who can use pulse diagnosis to determine with accuracy whether female subjects are pregnant. An amazing challenge, isn't it? In this course, we will sink into the universe of the pulse. To learn measurement of different attributes and implementation in clinical practice, along with some amazing facts and researches in traditional medicine. For now, you have to slow your heart rate, stay calm. You have to shoot in between your heartbeats.
because life isn't measured in minutes, but in heartbeats. Thanks.